Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga sehat selalu Dalam lindungan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Dijauhkan dari segala merabahaya Malapetaka bencana dan balak Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin ya rabbal alamin Oke di sini ada sebuah requestan Dari para teman-teman sekalian di instagram Yaitu 5 sebab kenapa Malaysia Lagi best dari Amerika Serikat What? Guys bener gak sih ini? Jadi ada lima sebab kenapa Malaysia, negara Malaysia itu lebih baik daripada negara Amerika Serikat. Wow, ini gila sih kalau beneran asli. Wow, langsung saja guys, saya sudah penasaran ini. Ini dari channel Jai and Sam. Let's go, kita play videonya. Oke. Okay. Assalamualaikum, geng. Waalaikumsalam, Allah. Orang Malaysia ya ini ya. Oh ini saya ah suami istri kah? Hari ini petang hari hari bukan hujung minggu hari minggu biasa. Ah jadi kami tak ada benda nak buat sangat. Kami ada beli <laughs> makanannya nak melepak dekat taman-taman sini. Okay. Ramai yang tahu kan Sam dah pernah datang Malaysia banyak kali. How many times have you been to Malaysia? Three times. Hmm, okay. Oh, tiga kali. So, uh, uh, jadi Sam tahu lah perbezaan antara Malaysia dan Amerika kan tempat Sam lahir. Jadi hari ni aku nak tanya Sam apa benda yang ada dekat Malaysia yang lagi best atau lagi lagi baik ah daripada di Amerika Syarikat ni. Okay, okay. Bella. Cuaca agak sejuk sebab musim luruh hampir tiba <laughs> Ramai juga ah, yang pakai lengan panjang sini ah. Sebab terlalu sejuk Eh, spray Okay Oh, okay. min Wow <laughs> So, uh, this time I want to ask you a few questions Okay and you have been to Malaysia, like you said, three times, right? Yes, and I lived there too. Oh, for six ah. months. Oh, for six months. Half a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we're going to talk about the things that you think are better in Malaysia compared to the US. Okay. There's yeah. actually a lot of things. Really? There's a lot of things? It feels wow. like it. Yeah. So, I would say, the first thing that I think is better in Malaysia mm -hmm. are the bathrooms. <laughs> the bathroom? Yeah, bathroom. because the stall is all the way to the floor in Malaysia. Almost every single bathroom I've been to in Malaysia. But in America, mm -hmm. there's about mm, three feet or two and a half feet. Oh, yeah. Like oh. from the ground up that you can just like see under yeah. the stall. So if you're going to the bathroom, somebody can see if you're standing, if you're sitting, yeah. or <laughs> things like that. Which, yeah, that's right. That's the first time I came wow. to the US. The bathroom there, it makes me think like, who wants to go there? Because people can <laughs> see you from the outside. There's a very big gap. And okay. if you just walk by in front of the door, you can see people in the inside doing their things. Oh my <laughs> god. Ya mungkin karena gini ya, di sana itu kayak malunya biasa aja gitu. Mungkin gitu ya. Tapi kalau di kita, di Indonesia ataupun Malaysia itu pasti malu lah. Sifat malu kita itu besar seperti itu guys ya. Karena ibu bapak kita juga mengajarkan gitu kan untuk menjaga aurat kita dan lain sebagainya. Mungkin di sana karena terlalu bebas atau lain sebagainya saya kurang tahu juga. Iya betul sih. Iya 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 iya. Ya. <laughs> we don't want people to see that. So when I went to Malaysia and I realized that most of the bathrooms had long, Small, private, long yeah. doors. Right. It was ah. very nice. Yeah. Not just the the bottom part, but but the side. Yeah, the side. They have right. side gaps in America. So like there's a space. It's like you could put your eye through and yeah. see. Oh my if god. Really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gitu ya. Okay, so that's the first way Malaysia is better than the US. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Because that still bothers me until now. <laughs> I live in the US, but that still bothers me. Okay. It bothers me too, and I've lived here my whole life, so <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why. Okay. Second thing that Malaysia has, and it's better. Okay. <laughs> to the US. <laughs> what is that? Ready? Yep. The second thing would be that in Malaysia, 
at restaurants where you sit down, you don't have okay. to pay tips. Oh, they don't expect tips, right? Mm. But mm. in America, it is definitely expected that you will tip at least 15 to 20% oh, of your bill. Oh, yeah. That's really a good one. It feels so weird here because in Malaysia, if you go to restaurants, if you read the, their menu and you see the prices, and that's what you'll pay. But here in America, you see the price. For example, if you buy a fried rice and you'll see it is $5. Okay. But when you want to pay, probably be like six dollars and then you still have to add tips too right mm -hmm. like, like oh you need... jadi kalau di Malaysia ataupun Indonesia juga bayar ya udah segitu gitu tapi kalau di sana itu ada lebihnya gitu kan wow oke okay. nah di situ bisa dikatakan bahwasanya di restoran itu ya Malaysia lebih baik daripada US gitu loh guys ya People pay 15 dollar, eh, sorry, 15 percent, yeah. mm -hmm. 50 percent of the total bill to 20 percent. Okay. Yeah, 20 percent is very average nowadays to pay for a restaurant where they wait on you. Not a restaurant ah. where you go to the counter and pay there, but when they come to the table, bring you drinks, bring your food, those kind of restaurants, sit-down restaurants. And we also have tax on our foods okay. too mm -hmm. at restaurants, so okay. that also okay. makes your bill go higher, which is disappointing. Yeah, but oh, if you go okay. to restaurants to buy takeaway food, you don't actually have to pay tips because they actually don't serve you. Yeah. So you only have to pay tips when they serve you. You know, the waitress, waitresses come to your table and they ask you what you want and they give you food. So the third thing that is better in Malaysia than in America oh, would yeah. be online bank transfers. So what oh. I mean by that is From what I've heard from you, in Malaysia, you can just transfer from any bank, even if it's not the same bank, to another bank, and they can transfer money easily, like yeah. that. Okay. They can get the money right away. But here, you cannot transfer from one bank to another bank, and the money does not go immediately. But there in Malaysia, oh. apparently, it yeah. goes right away. And that's really cool, because here, that would never happen. Sometimes it's 24 hours, if it's like late in the evening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if it's on the weekend, like on a Friday night after closing hours, it won't be until Monday. Mm -hmm. It just depends, like you don't always know. Yep, and also sometimes if you want to transfer between different banks, you have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pay a fee just to do that, but okay. in Malaysia, You can transfer to any banks, local banks, and you don't have to pay anything, and you'll get the money right away. <laughs> okay, okay, the fourth one. Okay. The okay, jadi kalau di Amerika Serikat, guys, itu transfer ya sekitar 24 jam gitu. Tidak serta merta kayak kita. Kita transfer, di 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 selesai. Di 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 selesai. Itu kemudahan kita, guys. Di sana itu nggak ada Allah. The fourth thing that's better in Malaysia than in America would be the fast food restaurants. Uh, okay. <laughs> And I don't mean the type of food. Well, sometimes I mean the type of food. But mainly, I mean the way that they look and also like the reason you go there. So mm -hmm. in Malaysia, from what you've told me, people go to fast food restaurants when it's like a special treat or like something. Used to, used to. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, still, the restaurants in Malaysia that are fast food restaurants with a drive through is what I mean. Mm -hmm. Those ones are always okay. like really fancy in Malaysia. Mewahaya. I think they look very high class and nice. Wow. Inside. People go inside and sit down and eat. Yep. Here in America, they're just kind of like not low class, but like it's somewhere where you ah. go and you don't have a lot of money to spend on food or when you just want a fast meal and you just go through the drive thru and then you leave. You never eat there really. Wow. And Berarti dari segi bangunan ya istilahnya di Indonesia ataupun Malaysia ya kan Karena bangunannya hampir sama sih guys ya Kalau kayak fast food ya seperti itu dan mereka bilang istilahnya lebih maju gitu guys Sedangkan di sana itu ya biasa aja gitu kan Pembangunannya biasa aja hanya orang-orang yang nggak punya duit yang sana gitu Aduh The places don't ever look that nice Nice Yo, And also because <laughs> in the US people go to fast food when they don't have money i mean not always but usually because it is quite cheap uh, the fast food oh. restaurants here in the us is quite cheap but in malaysia people go to fast food restaurants when they actually have money <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh, and they'll go to fast food restaurants because usually fast food meals are more expensive than regular food that we usually eat for example fried rice probably yes, uh, uh, okay. i bring it 
six, six ringgit, ringgit but okay. fast food restaurant if you go to McDonald's and you buy a cheeseburger probably cost 14 ringgit already so the price different is yep. huge and you feel like you want to eat at fast food restaurants when you are in Malaysia yeah. but when you come back to the US do you want to go there uh, only sometimes <laughs> out of convenience you know <laughs> yeah right the fifth thing that is better in Malaysia than in America are the gas prices and I don't mean oh, how much you pay convenient. for gas yeah. what I mean is that everywhere you go in America the gas okay. prices are different between different gas stations oh. and then also they are different between different states okay. so anywhere you go it could be different prices of gas but in Malaysia it's the same price everywhere you go yep. no betul, matter betul. which gas station right yeah we standardize <laughs> the difference probably might be 10 cents or 20 cents more yeah 20 cents less but if you go to the other states for example nebraska and you go uh -huh, to okay. what else california state mm -hmm. and the gas price probably be like two dollars difference right yeah wow. like two dollars higher because on the coast it's always more expensive mm -hmm. than in the midwest okay. Mm -hmm. okay let me just check um how much is it in omaha okay <laughs> just to show you guys Omaha gas price Okay, right now Omaha the city where we are right now. It's about 3.6 $3.60 okay. the average price. Okay, Los Angeles LA a lot of Malaysian know LA. Yeah, Los Angeles Mahal eh, the gas price there cost what? $6.10 Oh my god! Oh no! That's Almost twice <laughs> Yeah, it's different betul, betul, Just betul, betul, for the different betul. state. Yeah <laughs> All right, it's getting a little chilly <laughs> and windy here now, so yep. we might want to wrap it up for tonight. To those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We would really <laughs> appreciate it. Yep. Well, assalamualaikum. Bye. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, guys, sudah selesai videonya dan itulah tadi ya lima sebab kenapa negara Malaysia lebih baik daripada Amerika Serikat. Ya, kalau kita lihat guys ya Allah, memang betul lah yang pertama tuh tandas tadi ya kan. Kalau kita tengok tadi tandasnya dia itu memang agak kebuka ke atas gitu sehingga privasi ataupun istilahnya kayak kalau kita lagi duduk di situ ada orang pasti oh jalan oh, mm, oh. itu bikin kita nggak tenang sih. Sedangkan kalau di Indonesia ataupun Malaysia Ya kan di Malaysia khususnya karena yang dibahas ini adalah negara Malaysia gitu ya sama kayak di kayak di Indonesia gitu tandasnya itu agak ke bawah gitu semakin panjang gitu sehingga privasi kita itu terjaga dan tidak ada setelah sedikit pun yang terbuka gitu kan betul sekali ya oke okay, dan masalah fast food juga masalah bangunan ya Malaysia lebih maju lebih bagus ya kan dan memang betul kata abang tadi bahwasannya ketika orang di Amerika di sana istilahnya makan ke fast food dan lain sebagainya itu udah kayak biasa aja sedangkan kita di sini ya kan ke fast food itu karena kita punya uang gitu karena kita wah itu eh, memang mahal sih kalau kita istilahnya makan di restoran biasa tempat-tempat kedai-kedai macam tuh kan nah, di sini biasa 20.000 ya kan 30.000 tapi kalau ke fast food itu sudah di atas 100.000 pastinya karena kita kalau makan pasti berdua gitu kan dan itu so memang mahal gitu guys dan ya terima kasih buat teman-teman semua yang sudah nonton video ini sampai selesai gimana menurut teman-teman pendapat teman-teman sekalian kenapa ya kan di sini sebabnya sudah disebutkan bahwasannya Malaysia lebih baik daripada Amerika. Oke mungkin itu saja video kali ini guys. Gimana menurut teman-teman sekalian? Silahkan komen di bawah kalau saya sih bangga pastinya ya kan ya. Ah bahwasanya negara Malaysia itu ada ya kan lima sebab. Mungkin ada lagi banyak ya. Kata Sam tadi itu memang banyak banget istilahnya Malaysia lebih baik daripada Amerika Serikat. Coba kita akan menunggu istilahnya part selanjutnya apakah akan dibahas ya kan. Nah langsung saja guys di subscribe buat teman-teman semua agar tidak ketinggalan informasi ataupun video terbaru dari para J dan Sam ini. Jangan lupa juga untuk like, share, komen, dan subscribe-nya di channel Jam Mujib. Terima kasih sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.